Welcome to the conversation at airsafe.com with your host, Dr. Todd Curtis. This is show number 89, Swine Flu Risk for Airline Passengers. After a rapid spread of the swine flu virus, the World Health Organization announced an increase in its global alert level on April 27, 2009. So far, about 150 people have died from the disease, all in Mexico. One of the fears is that air travel may make it easy for the flu to spread. Given the global nature of air travel and the nature of the swine flu virus, by the time authorities were aware that there was a risk, it was too late. In at least one case, authorities suspect that a cluster of swine flu cases in New York City may be due to a group of students who had recently visited Mexico. When events like this happen, one question that gets asked is whether anyone has ever died after being exposed to some kind of virus on an airline flight. That answer appears to be yes, and it involved the SARS virus in 2003. The New England Journal of Medicine reported that in March 2003, six passengers from two different flights in Asia died after being exposed to the SARS virus on those flights. Two of the flight attendants and 17 of the other passengers on those two flights were also infected, but survived. Another reasonable question is whether airline passengers can die after exposure to the swine flu virus. So far, the answer appears to be no but it may be weeks or months before we know the final answer. Airsafe.com suggests that passengers who are concerned about swine flu should follow the news media for the latest bulletins and make appropriate changes in travel plans. Unfortunately, airlines are not required to screen out passengers who may be infected. If you suspect that a passenger is exhibiting flu-like symptoms and you find this out before boarding, you may request that you not sit next to that person or you could request to be put on another flight, but that's about all you can do. If you're sick, or suspect that you may have the flu or another infectious disease, avoid flying until either the symptoms go away or a medical professional assures you that you're not a risk to other travelers. If you must change your flight because of concerns about swine flu, check with your airline. In some cases, airlines are reducing or eliminating any fees associated with flight changes due to the swine flu threat. You can find additional information about disease risk in flight as well as updates of the swine flu situation at airsafenews.com. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.